everyone today for my kitchen i would like to show you how we can prepare carrot cake it's really easy and yummy so let's get started with the ingredients first we need two cups of flour we need one and a half cups of sugar four eggs we need quarter teaspoon of salt you can use kosher salt or normal salt we need one and a half uh, teaspoon of cinnamon powder we need one teaspoon of bicarbonate of soda and we need two and a half teaspoon of baking powder we need one cup of oil uh, to keep the cake moist and then you can keep it several days it will keep you know the cake moist and soft from inside and we need one cup of ground nuts here I'm using cashew and I'm using walnuts you have to ground them and final ingredient we need two cups of grated carrot so let's get started now here I have uh, the four eggs okay, first let me mix Ooh. first let me mix here the flour with the cinnamon and salt baking powder and bicarbonate of soda okay mix them like this this is the first step okay so make sure you preheat your oven to 180 degrees okay here we go now i'm going to start with the egg so i'm going to beat the eggs until they become fluffy and double So while I'm beating the egg, I'm going to add bit by bit the sugar and then continue uh, mixing them. Okay, now I'm going to add the flour with the mixture here and then mix them. And also I'm going to add the oil. Okay, so I don't need any more the hand mixer. Okay, now I'm going to add the nuts. As I said, you can use any kind of nuts that you like. I use walnuts and cashews. Okay, and I'm going to add the carrots. Okay, so mix them very good and our mixture will be ready to bake in the oven you can divide these um, this mixture into a tin if you like I'm going to bake them one you know on one time in a big tin and also I'm going to decorate this cake with creamy uh, mascarpone cheese mixed with sugar I'm going to show you later how we can prepare this creamy cheese okay so in a baking tray I'm going to pour the mixture here and I'm going to bake it for 45 minutes to 50 minutes I'm going to check it after 45 minutes and I will see you after that and I'm going to leave it half an hour to cool down so I'll see you after that okay guys here we go this is after the cake bake in 45 minutes now I'm going to open this tin okay and then on this one here we go so I'm going to leave it for half an hour to cool down wow look at how soft and smooth and so moist so i'm going to leave it here and in that time i'm going to show you how we can prepare the um creamy frosting first step 
For this recipe, you can use any kind of cream cheese. I prefer the musk mascarpone cheese for this recipe. We need a little bit of lemon zest, and this is optional. You don't need to add it, but I prefer, I like. Uh, I'm going to start adding two tablespoon, two tablespoon of butter, fully tablespoon of butter. I'm going to add on them one teaspoon of vanilla extra and one cup of icing sugar. Here we go. Okay, so now I'm going to beat them very good until you know the butter is soft. Okay, so now I'm going to grate some lemon zest on the butter. about one teaspoon and that would give a nice taste and smell perfect and final ingredient I'm going to add 250 grams of mascarpone cheese okay as I said, you can add any kind of cheese that you like. Here we go. I'm going to mix them very good. Wow, look at this beautiful creamy uh, frosting. Here we go. If you don't like to add frosting, you can just add cream or double cream, just whip it and add it and decorate the cake if you don't want to decorate it you can just sprinkle it with icing sugar and also you can keep it as it is so the way how you like but i prefer this you know i prefer to add this cream cheese frosting it tastes so yummy it's so rich and so delicious so i hope if you can give it a try wow that's so soft that's what we want so I'm going to keep this separate for about 10 more minutes and uh, after that we can you know decorate our cake okay so now after the cake cool I'm going to split the cake in half like this smells so yummy okay perfect so let me just take this okay so here we go now I'm going to add some frosting here in the middle Okay, spread them. So creamy. Cool. Wow. I'm going to add the uh, top layer like this okay. and I'm going to decorate the top as well with the rest of the frosting like this Just spread them like this. You can um, decorate it the way how you like. I'm going to keep it so simple like this. Final step. What I'm going to do. I like to add some nuts on top. I'm going to add some more nuts. But first, I'm 
going to crush them a little bit. Okay, just do them like this. grated carrots on top but I prefer the walnuts on top okay that's enough okay so take the walnuts and then sprinkle the top like this oh yummy looks amazing here I have a big walnut so I'm going to put it here look at this beautiful cake carrot cake and I already showed you the inside how it looks so soft so uh, moist from inside you, it, you can keep it you know for several days in the fridge also uh, it will stay so moist from inside so i hope you enjoy watching this video and i hope you like this recipe so uh, please give it a try and let me know what do you think about it send me a comment down below please share it with your friends and uh, i love you all thanks for watching and i will see you soon in another video bye thanks for watching